You actually went to the school that the school Peter Parker was went to in the movie was based on, right? Right, they based it on the Bronx High School of Science, which was a great public school in New York. You have to take a test to go there. Smart kids from all over the city. And it really actually is pretty close to what they, how they depicted it. I think there they call it the Midtown School of Science or something, but, but I know that Tom Holland went to Bronx Science to do research. Right. And it was just a, it was a great experience. Did and you I, live in the Bronx? I didn't, I lived in Queens, like Spider-Man. Oh, so you Spider were- Spider-Man's a big deal to me. <laughs> yeah. Me too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I went there, it was, a, it was a bit of a geek school as they show. At the time it wasn't as cool to be a geek and I was a geek in the geek school because I would play Dungeons and Dragons, so even the geeks yeah. considered you like a geek. Yeah, right, yeah. But uh, I delved into a little bit of that myself. You dabbled? You know what, what honestly? What was your character? What was your, I didn't uh, have a character, but I like to draw, so the guys would make me come and sit there and draw all their characters for them. And what was your character? Did I you had remember? different ones. I had a hobbit, you know, like a halfling. I like that. Dwarves. A week. Sorry, I think I just heard the sounds of a million televisions turning the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Women saying, good night, honey, I'm going to bed. <laughs> but Dungeons & Dragons, for people who don't know, I mean, it's so crazy to say it, but it's just you'd sit there just rolling dice. I tell you, it was really good preparation for Gambling. being a film. Yes, oh. that too. <laughs> that and Gray, Gray gave you a lot of time to think about what it would be like to date eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> Another fantasy sequence. But it did help me, uh, like, when you build worlds for, you know, making, like, a superhero movie or making, uh, you know, dealing with CGI and even filmmaking, between that and, and the, the training that I got from doing improvisational comedy in Chicago, those two things, you I really, really draw You really feel that. like that gave you a baseline and kind I of... I really think it did, because wow. I think it's like you're putting on a show. Either you're setting something up or, or improvising as different characters in the game, or you're on stage and taking suggestions and trying to make a scene come together. You learn timing, you learn humor, you learn what an audience likes. And all those things are in the back of your mind when you're on a film set, isolated. You know, like now we're doing Lion King, we're literally in, v in VR making this movie. There's no audience, there's no people around, there's not even like a full crew. So it, you have to rely a lot on your instincts that are, that are developed over the time. And of just kind stage. of imagine that reaction. You do. How did you go from being rolling dice with the other nerds in the dungeon to <laughs> on stage in Chicago doing improv? It was later, I, I, I went cross country uh, after, it was after I had even uh, been to college and I went cross country, I stopped in Chicago and I.O., you know, they, they have a, a theater right Improv here. Improv Olympic. Improv yeah. Olympic. They right. have a theater here. I stopped there and watched the show. And I, the improv was so funny that I thought it was all planned. And then I, I volunteered to go on stage. They interviewed me. And they did a, a game called The Dream where they act out my nightmare based on the interview I gave. And then back then, Chris Farley was part of the company, and he played me. Oh, really? And so the first person wow. I saw do improv was Farley. I'm like, these people are good. <laughs> like, are they all that funny? <laughs> I was really intimidating. What was the dream? Do you remember? I don't re You know, it was all funny things. And Farley, you know, of course, the, uh, his plumber smile came out at some point yeah, as he sure. bent over. Yeah. But he knew how to get laughs. He was just, he filled up the room with, you know, he had such a presence. And, uh, and then later I was washing dishes at Second City. I got to watch him do his show all the way through and really watch uh, him develop. And that way Mike Myers was there. It was just such a wow, that's great crazy. group of people. That's unbelievable. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.